best oh. temperature effect way of dissolving. The answer is yes, but here is why. Let's compare warm temperature water compared to room temperature water. Warm temperature water is warmer in comparison to room temperature water. So, since it's warmer, the particles move faster. And since the particles move faster, there's more energy. So, some might ask, the more heat there is, the more energy? Yes, but here's why. In comparison to room temperature, in comparison to warm temperature water, room temperature water is cooler, so the particles move slower and there's less energy. Another question someone might ask is, why does water dissolve sugar? That is because water has magnetic properties, so it makes water a strong solvent. So it's easier for the water to dissolve the sugar, aka the solute. So, let's, if this is a sugar cube, this is a sugar cube. The dots represent sugar, and the spaces represent air. In the next picture, you can see that the sugar cube is in water. So, what happens is the water makes itself into the sugar cube, and it replaces itself with the, it takes the space of the air bubbles. So the air bubbles go up, and the water takes the air, the air's place. And eventually it collapses, and the sugar cube turns into sugar crystals. But what does this have to do with anything? Well, let's take warm temperature water. Warm temperature water is warmer compared to room temperature water. And since it's warmer, the particles move faster. Since the particles move faster, it's easier for the particles to get into the sugar cube. And, and it takes less time. That is why temperature affects the rate of dissolving. Hi, this is Gary. I'm Chris. I'm Vano. I'm Brandon. We're going to be talking about how a sugar cube dissolves. First of all, it took 35 seconds for it to dissolve in hot water. And it took 1 minute and 3 seconds to dissolve in room temperature water. Hi, I'm Ivana. It took 2 minutes and 10 seconds, 2 minutes, to dissolve the sugar cube. Most, most of the temperatures was 53 degrees Celsius. So, the answer to the question is, yes, changing the temperature does affect the rate of dissolving in a solution. I got this answer from my observations and notes that I took during the rate of dissolving experiment. For me, the solute or solute, which is the sugar cube, dissolved faster into the solvent, which is the water, when it was in warm water that was between 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. It dissolved in about 35 seconds, and my temperature was at 55.5 degrees Celsius, whereas the solute in room temperature dissolved a lot slower into the solvent. It dissolved in 2 minutes, 120 seconds, into the solvent, and the temperature was at 23 degrees Celsius. What I saw and observed was... Um, when I first put the sugar cube in the war into the warm water, the particles 
you could immediately see particles starting to go up, breaking away from the salute or sugar cube. Whereas when I put the sugar cube into room temperature water, um, only a little bit particles, about one or to three particles could be seen going to the top. They were way slower. Also, when pieces started to break off like this into the warm water, by the uh, it broke off about this much and was at the bottom already. But in room temperature water, it only broke off a bit and dissolved way slower into the water or solvent. The, pie the pieces in the warm water bre started breaking off at 10 seconds and in the room temperature water it started breaking off, the pieces started breaking off in 90 seconds. Uh, by the end, by 35 seconds in the warm water, all of the crystals, sugar crystals could be seen at the bottom. And in 120 seconds, 2 minutes, in room temperature water, all the crystals were at the bottom too. So, the warm water was a lot, helped the sugar cube a lot because the sugar cube dissolved way faster into the solvent. These observations make me come to the conclusion that changing the temperature does affect the rate of dissolving in a solution.